a site in the channel where we are establishing a um, 300 foot by 70 foot hard rocky bottom, which is um, we're calling an experimental spawning reef. And we're really trying to, to make this an ideal habitat for Atlantic sturgeon. Atlantic sturgeon are an endangered species. They were listed in uh, 2012 as an endangered species. But um, you've probably seen some, some, some buzz in the news over the last few years. We know that there are sturgeon in the James River. In fact, in about a month, come out here and there's a good chance you'll see one breaching out of the water. They have a really fascinating behavior where they'll jump out of the water. Uh, Surgeon have been around a very long time. They've been around for at least 120 million years. They predate the dinosaurs as far as the life history um, on Earth. Uh, they were historically very abundant in the James River, and they were uh, overfished in the James around the 1890s. Uh, and started to see steep drop-offs in their numbers beyond that point. Uh, there is a moratorium that's been in place for a number of years on catching sturgeon. They were listed as endangered species in 2012. And um, aside from the overfishing, we know it takes them a long time to rebound because they are very long-lived fish. Um, it takes them a number of years before they even start to, to reproduce again. Um, and in addition to that, you see a little bit of a, a brown color in the, in the river today. And throughout this, this spring, actually, we've had a lot of rain, a lot of sediment going in the river. The actions that we have on the land, as far as development and agriculture, um, and we've had a lot of that with a long history of uh, colonization along the James River. The end result of that is a lot of sediment going into the river. And a lot of that silt and sediment has covered up what was originally a hard rocky bottom. So in establishing this, this um, reef, we're essentially replacing what's been lost by our, our, our actions in developing the land. We're talking about, about a, even though it's 300 foot by 70 foot, we're really talking about a small piece of, of habitat. But this project, as well as the two reefs that have been established previously, uh, one at the tip of Presque Hill National Wildlife Refuge, and uh, one uh, just uh, around the, um, the, the um, Jones Neck uh, Oxbow. We're, we're increasing our, our um, area of underwater laboratory, and but still kind of a needle in the haystack. We're hoping to, to learn a lot more 